Well, hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. All around me are Saskatoon blossoms. The berries won't be ready for a while, but I wanted to make a video now to point them out to help identify the trees because if you're like me, you're probably going to be interested in harvesting them later. Those white flowers are the Saskatoon blossom. Saskatoon or serviceberry or sometimes Juneberry. And these ones around here, I'm fairly confident, are the scientific name Amelanchier alnifolia. But there's several different varieties of Saskatoon berries, uh, or the Amelanchier species. And uh, I think there's at least three in Canada and maybe in the United States as well. I'm not sure how many. But if you ask indigenous groups, and they were of such importance to some indigenous groups in BC, especially the, in the interior, they had depending on the group, six or eight or maybe nine different species that they referred to. So I don't want to launch into some sort of a, a debate between the uh, botanists and the taxonomists and indigenous groups, but I will say that there's quite a bit of variety or uh, variability among them. And, uh, you know, maybe you're looking for a particular species, but depending on who you ask, maybe there's a few to choose from. So I'm going to say they're the scientific name Amelanchier, I think is how you pronounce it. Saskatoon berries, Amelanchier species. And like I was talking about, there's a few in North America, or more than a few, uh, but some 25 around the world. And uh, anyway, they have some common traits, so I'll tell you about the leaves first. The leaves can be 1.5 to 2 centimeters long, and they are very thin. And they, have, they are fairly sharply toothed, especially on the upper half. And just in this area, I see some that are toothed all the way around. But this one here, you can see it's mostly on the upper half of the leaf. And the leaves do have some uses. They are of the, they're in the rose family. So they can be used for making a tea, which is astringent. And so that can cause tissues to contract. So a tea made from the leaves can help firm the tissues and maybe to draw out uh, tish, draw out excess mucus in the respiratory system, similar to how you might use leaves of raspberry or uh, strawberry. You can use the bark of Saskatoon berries to Saskatoon berry trees. Service berry, June berry, whatever. You can use the bark to help you identify them, them as well. The bark is smooth, thin, and dark gray to reddish. And the way they often spread is by rhizomes. So they spread with underground, uh, underground roots. So they can make large stands of them. They spread out. And if you see some of these other ones around here, there's a bigger, more established one. Their grow, growth the way they grow, start with one and then they spread out and put a whole bunch of more shoots out. The branches, which are strong and straight, had a lot of uses. They were used for things like arrows and spears, pipe stems, basket rims, teepee stakes and teepee closure pins. And a tea made from the inner bark has been used to help women pass after birth and to help with the birthing pain. Just a quick word of warning, this plant does contain cyanide compounds. So uh, that's in the leaves and the berries. Um, so if you're going to use it, cooking them will take care of that. Uh, the, if you have too much, it can cause upset stomach, diarrhea, things like that. And uh, if you're going to eat the berries raw, then maybe don't overdo it. Now the Saskatoon berry blossoms, they are showy and white. And they have, I'll show you one or two, one. The petals can be up to about an inch long. There's five of them, they are white. And uh, something interesting maybe about them, the timing of the blossoms was used by the Iroquois to, as an indicator of when to plant corn.
don't know if you can see it or hear it. There's a, I can't tell. Ooh, hawk or a falcon, I can't tell. But some bird of prey over there. What a cool sound. So oh, these white showy blossoms, make note of it. Maybe come back later once the berries are ripe. It'll be a little while still for some Saskatoon berry or service berry or June berry, Amelanchia species. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I think YouTube, if you leave comments, it boosts the video. It makes YouTube think that people are interested. So. Consider leaving a comment if you don't mind, and uh, also consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.